things are getting worse. And you know what Biden says? It's Putin's fault. Putin did it. The Putin price rises. I don't think there's anybody. Honestly, if they were honest and they're not, the left isn't honest, generally speaking. <laughs> By that. Okay, so this is catastrophic, and I'm, that's not hyperbole. For the American workers and the poor, catastrophic. And the Biden administration will try to give away more money to families and the poor to try to get the edge off, but that'll cause more inflation. More money they print and give away, the higher the inflation goes. That's how they're going to try to sell it save themselves, but it's all going to ground to a halt in November when the Republican Party takes control of the House and Senate, which it will, because people aren't going to be voting for the Republicans. They're going to be voting against Biden, just as they voted against Donald Trump. Nobody voted for Biden. It was either pro-Trump or anti-Trump. Now, it's going to be, I don't care who's in there as long as it's not Biden. And things are going to get worse for Biden. This Hunter Biden thing, that's not going away. The border thing, after they lift the uh, COVID restrictions down there, that's going to explode. I don't know what Putin's going to do, but he's hanging on, hoping that the Biden administration collapses. All right, which it might. Now, what does that mean, O'Reilly? What does that mean, the Biden administration collapses? It means they can't govern at all. And that will happen if they lose control of the House and Senate. Biden will never get anything passed, nothing. So for two years, he'll sit in the White House. You're not going to get him out of there, although I think he may be impeached over the border, but he'll never be convicted. You'll never get two-thirds of the Senate to boot him, okay? But he'll be there, and he won't be able to do anything. And every executive order he writes will be challenged immediately in the federal courts. And... As it gets up to the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court will vote against Biden. Though he, he's going to be just there. He might just move to Delaware. 